Hello, my friends, and welcome back to Meerkat Musings. I'm your host, Ben. And it's interesting that I'm talking about this subject in an online medium because online mediums are kind of sort of vaguely where I'm going with this. Okay, maybe not. So a question popped up. I was looking up ideas for writing prompts over on my website and I came across one which I've written a post about due to be uh, published in, um, well, actually at the beginning of September. That's how far ahead I am with my um, with my schedule, organised me and all that. But I thought it would be interesting to kind of also bring this forward in uh, in video format. So the question is, what would things be like if we could upload our minds into the cloud? Uh, or to put it more precisely, should we upload our minds to the cloud? Now, there are a great many technical challenges with that, to put it mildly. We certainly, in the present day, don't have anything like the technology to actually kind of extract our minds, so to speak, and place them into cyberspace. We we, we cannot do that. Uh, or at least if that is possible, then people are keeping that very, very quiet. There's people out there who are probably toying with the possibility. Um, as time marches forward, we are getting more and more sophisticated prosthetics and the, you know, the, the, the kind of connections, literal and figurative here, that are going on between you know, the human body and, and, say, a prosthetic arm or something, they're getting more and more sophisticated with, with every passing year. But to take you know, the human mind, the, the, the essence, in effect, of, of who we are, and transfer that to the digital realm of the cloud to, to basically sort of place us online, so to speak, is a very, very different ballgame. There are a number of questions around what it means to be conscious and and what it means to be human, which would be dramatically affected by being able to to, to upload, as it were. Some of this stuff is actually explored by a TV show called Upload, which takes this this whole idea into, um, into a fictional space to explore. I haven't seen the show, so I can't speak for for what it touches upon. Uh, I've seen like kind of a few bits and pieces that seem to imply this uh, some interesting stuff going on, but you know the, that's obviously a work of fiction. The whole concept is highly theoretical and may never be possible. But assuming it becomes possible, then we ask ourselves the question whether or not we should. What would it mean if if we can? Because it almost becomes a route towards immortality, doesn't it? Provided, of course, that nothing happens to shut down every single computer on Earth and, and, and you know, kill the internet, we could, in principle, live forever in, in the virtual world. Assuming, of course, we don't place our virtual selves in some form of danger online um, and you know, destroy ourselves in a virtual space somehow. But there's all sorts of of questions which crop up from this idea. What would happen to, uh, shall we say, national borders? What will it mean uh, when we upload ourselves in terms of nationality? Will we even still care about the concept? What would it mean in terms of, of culture, for example? What impact does it have upon upon religious beliefs because it asks questions of course about uh you know among other things what does it mean to have uh, a soul and what ramifications are there for the concept of the soul if we can separate our minds from our from our corporeal forms so all of this is is deeply philosophical in some ways and i'm certainly not remotely qualified enough 
to to answer those ideas. I think if the technology ever becomes possible and if it becomes possible within my lifetime and I was given the choice to to effectively upload myself into the ether as it were and 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 live virtually it would be hard for me to say no if only because it, it is a means of of escaping the the inevitable failure of one's body and it, it offers a pathway in, in one sense perhaps to to immortality it offers an opportunity for the mind to perhaps grow unencumbered from the from the limits that our physical forms impose upon us and it it would offer who knows a, a means to you know to to, to 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 always be a part of my daughter's life for example which would obviously be very very rewarding although as i say it, it raises questions about what it means to be actually alive and you know, there's a whole bunch of stuff there that that I'm not qualified to answer. And then you have other things to throw into this mix. I mean, if we're suddenly online, um, and and in effect we we you know live in a virtual world, what happens to kind of like some of our basic human instincts? I mean, we won't need to eat, we won't need to sleep, uh, we won't need to drink, but will we? Will will our minds cling to this natural human cycle and do these things anyway? And if we're not, you know, sort of sleeping, what sort of becomes of us in that sense? Would would we ever get tired? Would we feel too, I don't know, wired in one sense? Which is ironic, bearing in mind that we'd be wireless in the cloud. Um... it's, It's stuff which is impossible to contemplate properly until... It actually becomes real and we actually experience it for ourselves in some way shape or form so i i don't know i don't know i thought it was an interesting prompt idea to to put out there i've as i say written up my thoughts and that post will go live on the 7th of september that's how advanced i am with my posting uh, for better or worse it's not necessarily a good thing, um, but yeah, you know, if you if you check out sort of Meerkat Musings at Code UK, you'll eventually see that post among several others. But I thought I'd just put it out there early on in video form, try and put my early thoughts on this subject out there. So you know, please let me know what you think. What do you think about the subject? Of course, what do you think? Should we upload our minds into the cloud? Something to consider.